Hello and welcome back to Big G's Railroad Channel. This is Big G, your host, and today we are bringing you, we've got several additions this past month. I want to show you those, what we've been working on, where we're going in the near future, and the goals that I have for this year. Thank you so much and stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the update. This is a scene that you're very familiar with if you've been watching the channel. It is what I would like to say pretty much done scenery wise. And what I was telling you last month is I was hoping to come on down, come around and do the scenery for this corner, this 180 degrees going into the yard over on the far side over where the auto racks are over there and the engines and completes complete the scenery on around the corner to about where that bottle of paint or the golden spike is well as many model railroaders do I got distracted with a different project luckily it was railroad related as you can tell the lighting in here is so much better Let's take a look at what we did. I installed four of these LED daylight brightness or daylight color fluorescent fixtures. I took and I put all four of them. As you can tell, I've got one of the old fluorescents there along with the ceiling fan with the incandescent lighting and then I've got all four of them coming on around the whole room. Sorry for the blurriness there. Got the fourth one there. But overall, it lights the whole room up very brightly. Gives me plenty of details. Brought out even better with the lighting. They're all the same hue. And with them all being the same hue, I get even light distribution all the way around the room. Very little on shadow effects here and there. I still have shadows from the landscape, but I don't cast a shadow when I actually move around the room too much. Which is very nice. But, one of the other things that we did this month is we finally finished the scene on the layout. I've got a couple different Facebook groups that I'm part of and these pictures have been flowing out of here this month as I've been updating for this scene here. Very proud of the way it turned out. I did the ballast up to the road. Did the grass work or the static grass, put it in, got a little bush there. Still need to get some lines on the road here, but I'm working on a new scene now. I'll show you that here in a moment. But we put in some details for the layout. One of which is staring back at the camera right now. The little dog peeing on the fire hydrant. Lady over here watching. If you can tell, I've got some shop interiors in there. I've got a little guy shopping. Give me a moment and I'll show you something else about the building. Got a little cat over here bugging the guy that looks like he's trying to eat his lunch or read the newspaper. Got some weathering on the sidewalk coming in and out of the door. Got some more over here by the front door. I took and filled some gaps in on the building so that the lighting would stay inside the building. Did the parking lot back here. I've got some weathering on the parking lot. Not put any cracks in yet. I will be adding those, some of those to it. Did some downspouts on the back of the building here. Got that coming down with the runoff coming out of the bottom onto the asphalt. Put some roof details up on the top. Little AC unit and little vent pipe. Trying to get it to focus in on them. I also took on the back side of the building, which I'll show you that here in a few moments. A little electrical box with power pole going up. 
But one of the other projects that I worked on this month, or started to today actually, I put the roof in on this building. I've still got to glue it in, get the lighting in for it. And I just got done doing the parking lot. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. That will sit right in that 90 degree bin there, backed up to the box cars. I've still got to put the end of the line track bumper in. Once this all dries, then I'll be taking and putting the paint to it, getting the stripes in, getting the ballast on this side of the layout done. Put a little sidewalk in right there in the void. Also put another sidewalk over here connecting to the parking lot. Filling in the gaps on the building, installing the building. I've also got this power pole that I've got right here that'll come down. I'm planning on another one coming right to the edge of the layout over here and then connecting the wires to that. On this building here, I've still got to put a electric box with the power pole coming up or the electric conduit coming up. Put some details out for the dock. Planning on a little forklift, some boxes, some pallets. Little details to bring the scene to life. Put some vehicles in the parking lot. And then get the ballast, like I said, around the track. And then also looking and thinking about something on the backdrop. I'm not sure just yet here what I'm doing. This will be the first time that I've ever done backdrop photos or backdrops at all, other than the blue backdrop that was done last year. But then once I get up to this little corner right beside Natural Tunnel, we'll be taking and working on that corner for the February update. Hopefully we'll get most of that corner done, and then I'm going to take you over to that side here in just a moment. We'll take a small walk around the room hopefully i don't make it too dizzy but i also while i'm thinking about it finally finished the hillside over here if you recall this hillside here has been brown for at least six months maybe longer than that Finally got the grass on it and put some trees on it yesterday. So it actually looks completed. Probably put a few bushes in. Maybe add an animal or two to that. But for the most part, this side of, or the centerpiece of the, of the layout is nearing its completion. Other than some lighting and some signage. It's just small details that I'm adding in. Let's continue on around the layout. Go slowly here. Try not to bump you around too much. Somebody's parked their beamer way out in the middle of the road there. Got two engines that I was doing a little Photoshop or a little photo session with. But over here, last month, I was talking about doing some scenery work in the yard. I've actually got all the ballast up to this point in the yard done. It's actually glued in nice and rock hard. And it goes on down. So hopefully before too long, I will actually be able to have this ballast joined up with the road that I just showed you guys over there that I still got to add lines to. But this month's project going into February will be to hopefully finish this portal and get the scenery at least up to this point of the layout, maybe a little bit further. Because once I reach this point here, I've got a good three feet probably of ballast there and once I get that done it will be very easy to do scenery work up to there 
and then they'll be picking up the ballast from that point and going on around and finishing out the yard. So hopefully, I would love to have the tunnel portal, the concrete going along here, doing some rock work right in here up to the portal, having all of this scenery done for the whole month. We'll see how it goes. It's quite a bit of an area to tackle. But I would like to make my promise that by the end of February, or by the middle of February, having the scenery work up to the yard or a little bit further. I figured I'd bring you over on this side, let you take a look at the scene. Put the road in over the railroad tracks there. It is complete. I just have the car sitting in the way there. But it actually goes up over the railroad tracks. I've dug the railroad tracks out, done the painting, just got to finish up. Some small details, but I do have the electrical box sitting there with the conduit going up. And then once I get the power poles in, glued in and wired up, the, I'll have a power line going from the power pole over to the conduit so that 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 building is on the grid. Those power poles will come on across the bridge here and then light up on this side along with some lighting that I'm going to do on the road. And I'll have the power poles go on down, do maybe a little substation for the coal mine down here, maybe a little small substation or another electrical conduit with the electrical box on the side of the ng hardware down there those are some small details that i may or may not get to this month stuff that i can do at a later date i've still got to do some signage but overall i'm very happy with the update this month the lighting took up quite a bit of time i've still got to take and get the cords installed up onto the ceiling there and then ran down the side of the road uh, side of the wall at the moment uh, for right now, they are just dangling, um, not really a trip hazard. They're kind of out of the way. I've not been running the railroad, so don't really have to worry about too many cars or anything getting knocked off with that. But as you can tell, all over the layout, the lighting is very even and very nice. Of course, anything that you put on camera doesn't do it justice, but... I definitely think this layout has come a long ways in the year that I've had it, and this lighting has definitely been one of the best improvements that I've done to it. And some people wonder about lighting and how much it costs, and this lighting was very easy to do. It took me a little bit of time to get on the ladder, get it where I wanted it, but each one of these fixtures runs about $20 and they give off plenty of light. Like I said, the whole layout, I've got four lights on it and that's all we've got for the whole layout. I don't have any other lighting in the room done. My wife says that she's going to get a suntan or that it looks like we've got a grow operation going on in our bedroom back here because of how bright it is. But I actually love the way it makes the layout look. You can tell in the rock work just how much more it brought the rock work out since putting it in. It doesn't look dull anymore, which is good to me. So the goals for this coming year, I told you, I would like to see the scenery completely done all the way around on that side of the room as well as in behind me in the yard and up to the building that I'm working on for the second anniversary of the layout, which will be August 7th, 2021. I'd like to have 100% scenery done without maybe some of the little finite details like weathering the coal mine, doing some signage, maybe some extra lighting projects. But having a majority of the scenery so that it looks complete, I'd like to have that done by, like I said, August 7th. 
from that point into Christmas of this year, 2021, I would like to be able to go in and do the staging and get the staging done so that hopefully by Christmas I can run trains from the other bedroom into here and actually drop off freight, pick up freight, and take it off of the layout. That would be my goal. That is what I'm setting out for 2021. You heard it here first on Big G's Railroad Channel. And without further ado, stay safe out there, and I will see you next month. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.